four ways to make our intro sound more interesting so here's what we're gonna work on okay so the first and easiest thing we can do uh, we can grab our intro instruments and transpose it down to five so it's going to sound like this. So that's probably the easiest you can do without any plugins. Now let's say I want half time on my guitar. Or maybe a lo-fi effect. And I want those only for the intro. So how can I do that? Uh, we're gonna create an automation. So we're gonna go here and click edit automation so what happens here we have this line that shows that it's the plugin is off and if we bring it up this is on so what we can do is create two dots and it's on for the intro and off for the hook so we're going to do the same with our lo-fi filter and let's see how it sounds <laughs> So as you can see, it's very easy to create automation and let's move on to our drill beat. Um, so for our drill we have, um, let me mute this. So one thing I like to do if we have synth uh, based uh, instruments I'm gonna add a synth bass that sounds like this so let's see how it sounds it's loud. Afterwards, we have our normal 808. Now, next thing we can do, let me grab an EQ and place it on my hi hats. And I'm gonna actually make it like this. And what we're gonna do is gonna automate this as well. And we want to actually achieve this effect.
so we're gonna click here and edit um, the frequency so what I like to do we're now gonna start when it's completely off but around the middle part and then go down again and release at where the hook starts so let's see and and I also think we could add a phaser I mean the stock phaser would do and we could automate that as well we only want that for the intro So yeah, these are four ways to make your intros for interesting, for more interesting. And there is a fifth one that is I showed you way back when I made the Halloween beat. And that's using a tape stop effect. Um, you can watch that if you want to implement it. So yeah, that was it for today. I'm going to see you soon. Cheers.